three, two, one, go! This time, we're going to do the plank sidewalk together. It involves starting in a high plank position and moving your arms and legs at the same time to move sideways. The key is to move sideways with a slight jump. You're going to do two jumps to the side and then two jumps to the other side. Remember to engage your core and not just your arms. It's simple, but it works most of your upper body down to your hips. Have fun jumping sideways. Three, two, one, go! This action is a dynamic plank. Repeat from the high plank position to the low plank position. Don't pay too much attention to the arm movement because it doesn't have to be accurate. Focus on breathing and don't forget to focus your strength on your core throughout the exercise. I will work out not only my arms but also my core. Rest time. It's ridiculous, I'm spitting this meticulous and limitless. While others out there spitting shit got hits up on the charts and sit. I see why other artists quit because people don't reward your shit. They love to hate, but hate to live society. Three, two, one, go. The exercise we're going to do together is the kneeling diamond push up. Get down on your knees and form your hands into a diamond shape to get into a push up position. Now slowly start doing a push-up. Keep doing them, increasing your speed a little while focusing on your chest. This is a variation of the push-up that focuses on the chest and biceps triceps. Since you're doing them on your knees, they're perfect for beginners whose arm strength is still weak. The kneeling position does not make the exercise any less effective, so keep repeating it without resting. Three, two, one, go! This time we're going to do isometric wipers together. Keep your legs slightly apart and maintain a low push-up position. Slide your chest from side to side without letting your chest touch the floor. This is a very simple movement, but it will keep your triceps and biceps tense from the start, and it will properly stimulate your entire upper body. You don't have to move fast, just make sure your chest and stomach never touch the floor. You only have a few seconds left, so hang in there. Rest time. Three, two, one, go. This time, let's try plank toe taps. From a high plank position, touch the opposite toe with one hand. You can repeat by switching arms and touching the opposite toe with your other hand. It's a variation of the plank, but it's a very active move that works your abs and burns your entire body. The great thing about this exercise is that it gives you an intense strength workout with less risk of injury. Three, two, one, go! This time we're going to hold in a low plank. Focus on your core and feel your breath. Just a little longer. Try not to let your stomach touch the ground. You're almost done. Notice how much longer you can hold it now than when you first started. Baby, 
show me.